guys, what's up? It's iTech every week. Today I'm be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevice on iOS 5.1, which just re which was just released um, on Wednesday. And the only device that will be able to be jailbroken uh, using Redstone 0.9.10 beta 6 are the the A4 devices. So that excludes the iPhone 4s and the iPad 2. You will not be able to jailbreak those devices with this version of Redstone, and you actually won't be able to jailbreak them at all right now. There's nothing that will jailbreak those on 5.1. Um, this is a tethered jailbreak, which means you cannot boot your device up um, right after. Like if you if you if you're jailbroken with this and you turn off your device, you cannot turn it back on unless you connect it back to a computer. Um, now there is a semi-tethered jailbreak, which means you can turn it off and back on, but the only thing that will work are uh, the things that are not related to Cydia. So if you install anything from Cydia, all that will not work. So pretty much anything that revolves jail that revolves um, anything you install from being jailbroken will not work. It's only the stock stuff like the App Store apps and that stuff that will work. Uh, but that will at least allow you to boot up. Uh, the, the normal tether jailbreak does not let you boot up at all. So you can install that in Cydia after this is done. I'll give an example of that. Uh, but first we have to jailbreak the device and we're going to use uh, Redstone 0.9.10 Beta 6 to do that. Um, just go ahead and check out the link in the description. It's available for Mac and Windows right now. Uh, so go ahead and do that and just It'll download to wherever you have it saved it on your computer, and just make sure you leave all the stuff saved in this folder, um, and then open Redstone from this folder. Some people have been getting complaints about this, but I'm not sure if it's a problem or not. Uh, they've been saying like if they move it, it doesn't work, but I've moved it to different places on my desktop, and, and that's because I think it has something to do with these files in here, um, and it might lose the location or something. Most, I think that's only with Windows. I'm not positive on that or not, or what's going on with that. Just leave it in the folder. I uh, just make things simple. But basically, just go ahead and plug in. Uh, your iDevice. I'm using an iPod Touch 4 generation as you can see over here. Um, if we slide to unlock over here, go to settings, um, in general, about, you can see 5.1 right there. Um, I'm not actually sure if you can see that or not. No, you can't really. It's kind of bright. But let me pull it up here. There you go. You can see version 5.1. Um, and uh, you can also see in right snow right here, it says connected iPod Touch 4 generation 5.1. So you're going to first just go ahead and hit jailbreak, but before we do this, I do want to say uh, you should go into iTunes, back up your, all your stuff, just in case something goes wrong. Um, odds are nothing will, normally it works out pretty well, but just go ahead and back up all your stuff in iTunes and make sure you got everything saved and you got a backup of your device. Let's go ahead and hit jailbreak now. Um, you will need to turn off your device as it is um, saying right here, and then after that you will have to enter DFU mode. Now to do DFU mode, um, Right when you hit next, it'll go right into DFU mode, so it'll go into like the process of it. So we're going to go ahead and do it right now before that, so you don't have to do the countdown or anything like that. Um, basically, what you do is you hold the power button for 3 seconds, and the home button with the power button for 10 seconds. So you hold this for 3 seconds, and then continue holding the home button with that for 10 seconds, and then release the power, and continue holding the home button for, I believe it says 30 seconds or 15 or something like that. Um, but basically, it's a lot simpler than that. Just go ahead and hold the home button and the power button together for 10 seconds and release the power button until Red Snow um, shows an action until it actually continues. So let's go and do that now. So power and home button and then release the power and continue holding the home. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to release the power button and just keep holding the home button until Red Snow recognizes DFU mode. So there you go, it's identifying it, go ahead and let go of the home button. And I'll set that down now to explain with Lime Rain, and it'll go through the jailbreak process now. Um, and while it's doing all this, I'm gonna explain um, the just boot to, to get your device actually working now. So right after your jailbreak, you'll have seed and everything, and um, but it won't uh, but it won't work. City will be white, I believe, and it's been a while since I've done a tether jailbreak, so I'm not positive everything that's going to happen but um, basically it'll be white and it won't work and you have to do it just, just boot mode and I'll explain all that. It's, you pretty much just have to enter DFU mode again and then you just, you just open it right on your computer and, and select just boot and then you enter DFU mode and it's done and it boots up and everything will work fine. Uh, but while this finishes up I'm going to skip through this and I'll be back when it's done. Um, and now it actually took me to this step. I forgot about this. Uh, you have the option of course to install City. So you want to do that obviously. Uh, and just you can enable these if you would like to. I'm going to enable both of them. And just hit next and then uh, I'll be back when this finishes up. Alright, so that's all finished up. Um, on the device you'll see all that white, the white lettering that is normal. 
um, just so you know, it's just going through the, the exploit and all that stuff. Um, and then we get a prompt from Redstone that says the tether jailbreak, which I explained to you already. Um, you can go ahead and cancel now. We're going to go ahead and open Redstone back up. Oh, it's in my downloads folder. Oh, wow, it's right here. Uh, fail. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so you can go to extras now, and you can see just boot here. And let's wait until the iPod actually finishes everything up. Um, it'll go through all this stuff for a while, and when it gets to the moving applications part, that'll take a little bit. Um, but it is all uh, normal. Actually, it just went really fast. Um, I guess that was a different joke right that did that. Um, but it's booting up now, so I'll be back when that finishes up. All right, so you can see the iPod booted up now. And if we slide over here, you'll see Cydia, and it's white, um, just like I said it'd be, and it doesn't open as you can see. So in Redstone now, you can see just boot, and my phone just fell. Um, but anyway, you have to go ahead and power off again. So slide that to power off, and now it's off. So um, we're gonna go ahead and do DFU mode once again. So same steps. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power, and then just keep pulling the home button, and wait for Red Snow to recognize it. There we go. You can set that down. All right, so Red Snow says done now, and we can go ahead and cancel that. I might as well X out of that too. Um, and the iPod booted up now, so let's slide that. And over, uh, see, it's still white, but um, you can see it just needs to prepare the file system, and we'll wait for that to quit out. All right, so the iPod um, respringed after City did that, and it's still white for some reason. Um, to get rid of that, you can probably just turn it off and reboot again using um, using Red Snow and just do the just boot but CD is loading up and there we go um, for some reason it did not ask me if I was a user hacker developer if it does just select whatever you'd like to um, I do developer because it gives you all the packages and everything just so you know exactly what's installed user doesn't give all the packages and everything like uh, if you scroll here you can see there's like a whole bunch of different like system stuff um, but that's Cydia you can see it's working I for some reason the icons white yet but I'm sure you can get rid of that just by rebooting and um, opening red snow up and doing the the just boot right here uh, so extras and just boot. I'm sure you can fix that but that's it for this video guys I hope everything worked out good for you uh, it should there should not be any problems this is just like every other tether jailbreak uh, but that is it for this video um, if you guys do run into any problems, I'm going to comment down below and I'll respond to you and help you out with your problem. Uh, if this video helped you out, guys, and you enjoyed it, uh, go ahead and like it down below. That helps me out. You can also subscribe to top to be notified when I release my new videos. I'll have more Jailbreak tutorials to come in the future. Um, and I'll also have more tech updates to come on this channel if there's any major news like iPads and stuff like that, which I may want to do a video on soon. Um, the new iPad was just released on Wednesday. But uh, basically, I'll have all that tech stuff, pretty much all Apple stuff. All of that kind of tech. Um, so that's pretty much it though. Uh, you can subscribe to the top to be notified when I release that content. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Um, you can follow me on Twitter to get tech updates also. My, my Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I take it every week. But that's it guys. Catch you next one. I'll see you later.